So we're on our way to go shooting right now. We're hey, bug eyes. Really pushed myself and ended up really paying for it. Now I'm alive and born again, rescued from the grip of sin. Got your to go shooting right now. We're gonna be shooting a 4570, which is uh, Garrett's dad's gun. And <laughs> we're also gonna be shooting a 12 gauge and a 3030, is that it? Yep. And his normal 45. Um, anything else? Nope. Colt excited. He knows when we're going shooting. Do you wanna go shooting? Yeah. Excited. No, get back. It's crazy. Yeah, he gets really excited when he knows we're going shooting. So we're gonna go have fun and I'll bring you along. <laughs> Garrett's dad just bought us lunch before we headed up. Thank you for buying us lunch. You're very welcome. You're so sweet. You're very welcome. So stressed out. <laughs> This is Garrett's dad's gun from his childhood and Garrett used to shoot this when he was really little and now it's his gun. His dad gave it to him. See where that thing was? Uh, yep. Pull. Pull. Wow. Good job, Larry. Huh? Good job. Good job. Woo! Bullseye! <laughs> Pull. Oh, nice. That's awesome.
we're enjoying shooting as a family and Colt's enjoying it too. He's just over here in a downstay. He wears ear protection for bigger guns um, just because we want to protect his hearing, but most dogs are around gunfire a lot when they're hunting dogs and they're perfectly fine. So he's he's okay. It's not like he's ever gotten ear damage or anything before, but we're just uh, making sure we keep it that way. We just finished doing 20 gauge rounds. Uh, shotgun, basically, is what it is. And uh, doing trap shooting, which is when you uh, yell pull basically and you have someone that launches a disc for you so um, that's really fun hitting a moving target and uh, that was awesome so we're gonna continue having fun I'm getting really shaky so my blood sugar might be low so I'm gonna take a break and eat something let's go Dead center. Yeah. Took the middle of it though. <laughs> okay. That's about as good a bull as you can get. Almost. Hmm. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> hey bug eyes. <laughs> 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 Fashionable. Stable as I want to be. Yeah. Yeah. We could bring the table over here. We could try that. I want to try one He's thing. falling asleep. <laughs> no, I'll try it. Oh my I'm goodness. How far is that? Babe? I don't know, it says 120 on this. 120 feet? That's so cool. Shoot the jug from that distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as long as we got this out, it's over 30 feet. It's a good boy. You love shooting, huh? You want to go and retrieve what we shoot, huh? But you can't. It's not safe. At 55 yards. 55 yards? So the rangefinder says it's 165 feet, but 55 yards. Yep. So who's trying for the jug? Yep. Who's trying? He's going to shoot the jug. Garrett, you're going to shoot the jug yep. on camera. Yep. Wow. Good shot, baby. Yep. Good job. Tino. <laughs> you got it right there. Good deal. Good deal. Thank you. That's right. That's right. 
Do you want to shoot? Um, sure. Did you get it? He got it? Yeah. Yes. You're the pro. Dad up first. And hammer back. Set rear trigger. And then don't touch that front one until you're really ready to shoot. That's a buffalo gun. <laughs> What's the caliber on that? That. What's the caliber? It's a 4570. 4570. It's a big gun, huh, Colt? Uh, level with the bullseye about nine o'clock, I think. The, the 600 yard target is about this wide and maybe this it's, far. Um, and Garrett's it's dad's gun, and it's uh, considered a buffalo gun, so it's like yeah. under an elephant gun. When you, when um, you're at the, so it's pretty the buffalo, big and powerful. I'm getting ready to shoot it now. I took a break for a while because we've been up here for a couple hours, and I'm getting really tired and overexerted, but having lots of fun. And it's nice to be able to just come up here and shoot a bunch of different types of yeah, guns a, together. And I got one down. Um, Garrett and his dad are like the Can same person. It's crazy. They're so good at shooting. Like just naturally abled. And I mean, they do take they do a lot of practice, but they're just always like able to just pull it out and on the first shot make like a hundred yard or more shot. It's crazy. They impress me a lot. Pull it there. I got it. <laughs> 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 wow, that was awesome. That's awesome. I got it. Janae is going to shoot another sharps. Huh? Another round on the sharps. What? Let me uh, let me find a bottle. Okay, go ahead. I can't. This is so hard to pull back. You do it with your right hand. Yeah, I do it with that. Either one. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, you got it. Yeah. High five! That's the second one. <laughs> the second one she got. She got the second <laughs> shot. Second <laughs> hit too. Wow. How far was that one? Um, twice, twice the distance. That's, that's uh, the other one was 56, so that's 50 yards. 50 yards? I'm a sharpshooter. <laughs> Little sniper there. Two shots and two hits. Yep, two shots, right two kills. Bat. Right off the bat. What'd you say? <laughs> two shots. Two shots, two kills. <laughs> oh. She got it. She got it. The first shot. The first shot. The first shot again. Did you see that? First shot. The bullseye. You got a bullseye. Did she got a bullseye. Did I? Think, I think she got a bullseye right there. 
Whoa! Whoa! Now that's good shooting. That's good <laughs> shooting. <laughs> Good shot. Got that. Got that. Good deal. Got that one too. Boy, that's good shooting. Colt's right. over here eating you. bugs. No. Good sinking. shooting though. Good shooting. <laughs> I want to try. Not as good there. as Janae, but just really pretty good. <laughs> Did you get the second one too? So ignore the way I look, but I just woke up and I'm editing the vlog and it is March. So that was back in July. Um, so that just gives kind of a little insight on how long it takes from vlog to editing to posting um, because of my health. So everything that you see is very backdated. And I'm really sorry about that, but I do like to share all the good and the bad and my life with you guys. So it is a little bit um, crazy though. So I'm sure you guys notice when it's stuff like Father's Day and it's obviously not Father's Day, but the rest of it sometimes you might not notice because um, it doesn't specifically say what date it is. Um, but I tried to post an order and uh, that means that it's maybe winter right now and I'm posting about summer. Anyway, another reason I'm filming right now is because I didn't end the vlog. It literally cuts off completely. Um, and that does quite happen a lot. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed. Sometimes it does. And the reason for that is, first of all, bad memory. Um, second is when I'm out doing something fun like this that uh, especially when it takes most of the day or, you know, three hours or so. I'm exhausted. I overdid it. I pushed myself a lot, um, but it's worth it. Garrett's dad was also in town, um, for only a little bit, and we had just gotten back from vacation, so we were, like, riding that high, uh, from vacation, and then Garrett's dad was there, and that was, like, a whole nother high, and we were just so excited to be together, and we hadn't seen him in so long. Um, that I really pushed myself and ended up really paying for it. If you follow me on Instagram, which is the same channel name, Service Dog Colt, you will see all that inside stuff because I post there really regularly and, um, like current. So you can get like updates on what's going on, like right at the moment type of thing. Um, but the vlogs are very behind, so I know like a lot of people are so kind and everything and they're commenting like, I hope you feel better and stuff like that um, when this was like in July and it's now March. So um, it's just part of life, you know, feeling good, feeling bad, things happen, but we had a lot of fun together. Looking back at these memories made me laugh and smile and um, that's another reason I love to vlog. We love to vlog is because looking back at it, is so great. Um, having kind of like a memory journal is amazing because I have such a bad memory. There's times where I look back at a vlog that we only did like a month ago and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot we did that. Like completely forgot until I was watching it. And sometimes it's funny because it's like watching it for like the first time, like I never lived it. Um, sometimes my memory can really uh, be a little bit tricky, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I hope you enjoyed our target shooting. Um, we definitely are pro-gun and we believe that guns don't hurt people, people hurt people. Um, and obviously you have respect and the proper training that a gun can actually save lives. And we personally as a family make the choice to keep up on our accuracy and our training with many different types of guns as you can see here and we're all pretty good at it and that is just something we have to do i mean we do live in colorado and there's a lot of dangerous wildlife so garrett does open carry most of the time to protect us from bears or anything like that but also the fact that it is our right we choose to 
use that right to protect us and our family and even other people if it ever came to that. Um, I know that other people have different points of view on that, but I will not accept any hate on our channel of any sort or any mean uh, comments and those will be deleted and blocked right away. And the reason I do that is I want this to be a safe space for everybody and I'm sharing my life um, and if you have a personal opinion in your life, you can share that on your own channel. But if you want to be on my channel, um, that's what it's about, is our choices, our life, and the things that we go through. So I just want everybody to have a good experience. There's not going to be anybody yelling at anybody in the comments, um, because that's not fair. I, I don't agree with um, the world nowadays of people saying things on the internet um, without feeling repercussions for that. So um, they feel like they can just say anything and um, you would never say that to someone's face. <laughs> so I know that I have in the past been guilty of that as well. Sometimes it's hard to keep your mouth shut and uh, honestly, um, it's just something you have to work on, holding your tongue, even in real life, you know, uh, Sometimes you say things you don't mean. And so I'm going to end the vlog with that. Sorry for this big rant. Um, but I feel like it was kind of needed an explanation. But you could see that uh, on my Instagram that I was not doing good after um, overdoing it. Shooting, but it was so worth it. And I did shoot really well. A lot of people have questions on how I can shoot with my right side numbness and weakness. Um, and... The reason I can is because I'm not completely paralyzed on my right side. There are days that it's harder than others and obviously I wouldn't be out doing something like this on a very bad day because it would be unsafe for me to be up in the mountains with no cell phone service for hours and hours and stuff like that. So it all depends on the day and um, honestly every day is different and so I also, you know, there's times where I struggle with certain things, like I had problems pulling back um, the uh, thing to get the bullet out on Garrett's dad's big gun because I wasn't used to something like that, and he actually helped me. So I was trying to do that with my right hand because that's the way you are um, supposed to do it, but I struggled with that. So I may not show all of the struggles that... Um, that happen in my life. I do try to show a very good balance of the good and the bad for you guys so you can see a little bit of everything because life is not all good and life is not all bad. And that's what I try to show. But you guys only see a snippet of my life and that's um, just a little bit of the struggles that you don't see. Um, that they help me a lot and they do a lot more shooting than I do because I actually... Um, with my weakness and numbness, I get very shaky and I can't even be accurate. So you could tell that, you know, on one gun I took two shots total. That was all I shot. And then on the shotgun I did more of because that was the gun I started with and I wasn't as tired. But after I got tired, I only took two shots here on this gun, two shots on this gun, one or two on this gun, and that was it. So, um, you know... It, you may not see the whole backstory to my life, but I, it's my life to live and my life to share as I see fit. And I love sharing it with you guys. You guys have all been so great and I love you as part of our family. And, um, you know, when I vlog, I only vlog on the days that I actually can, um, so those are normally the good days. So I show the struggles here and there in those, even those good days, you know, my blood sugar drops or I get alerted or something like that. Um, and I share that, the good and the bad, but just remember that between vlogs, there's weeks, days, something like that. I'm not a daily vlogger. I do vlog an entire day unless I completely uh, forget to finish the vlog or I don't feel good enough to finish the vlog. Um, but most of the time, it is only on the days that I'm feeling good enough to actually go do something that's worth vlogging. Um, so that's why you get to see a lot of adventurous vlogs because on the days that we're doing something worth vlogging, 
those are the days that I'm feeling good enough to do those things. So, and we'll do them at the drop of a hat too. Um, because I'm feeling great that day and we're like, let's go do it because I'm feeling good enough to do it. So, uh, very few and far between do we plan out big events, um, because that hasn't worked in the past and that's just how our life is. And a lot of things have been, um, paid for in advance and have either gotten to have to get a refund or, um, it's just wasted because my health gets in the way. So we just try to make the best of every situation and thank you guys for joining us. Comment below one of your favorite sports um, in the comment section so that I can uh, see what kind of things you guys like because I like to learn a little bit about you as well. I will talk to you guys later.